Hey there, it's Brittany Shavers and I am back with Jesse James Beads and the March Magical Mystery Bead Box. Um, I already did the unboxing and I was it was one of my favorites ever. It was my favorite of the year so far, but it was also one of my favorite boxes ever. It's all about strawberries. And I picked out the items um, that I wanted to use in my bracelets. I just really wanted to make a stack of bracelets and <laughs> look at all this yummy goodness. Uh, just so excited. So I think, um, I don't know. I, I really want, these are my favorite beads that were in the entire box. These lamp work little strawberries. They're super duper cute. So lovely. Really wanted to get those into a piece. Um, and then um, I really loved how these um, composite beads, stone composite beads looked with the green um, of the stems on the strawberries. And I kind of want a an asymmetrical bracelet. So um, I loved these little iridescent pumpkins. They're, they're ceramic. Just the quality of the beads in this mix were just, it was just fantastic. Just loved, loved this whole box. So um, yeah, let's get started on making some bracelets. Okay, so the first um, bracelet I'm going to make is going to be strung mostly. We're going to be using this Chrysoprase uh, Softflex. It's such a good color to use with this green that was in um, this uh, mix. And um, in, in my unboxing, I did say rose gold isn't my favorite, but, you know, I really like this chain. So I think I'm going to be using this chain and the um, clasp one of the clasps that came with the set along with some of the jump rings. Um, so good thing is if you have this box, you're really just gonna need to find whatever stringing material you'd like for this first bracelet. Um, I am gonna string on my little strawberries first, but I also dug out these little tiny crystal rondelle spacers from one of the mixes. I'm gonna put on a spacer, a strawberry, and then keep going spacer strawberry spacer until I have all three of my strawberries on then I'm gonna keep going with my spacers and put all of these green beads on I just love love this color combo turquoise teal green colors are my favorite and my second favorite color is pink so this box really called to me and then I'm going to put on my last one here um, I'm going to put on my last spacer and then this beautiful bead cap that was already on the strand around this um, ceramic bead it's just going to be like that and I'm going to do both of them on here. So beautiful. So we are mixing metals because these spacers were gold, but if you're not a mixed metal person, there were some rose gold spacers in one of the mixes. All right, so that's what we have so far. So pretty, love it, love it, love it. And then I am going to grab a um, crimp tube I have a rose gold one, a copper, I think it's copper, but it, it matches well enough. I'm going to put on one more of these little spacers, a little bicone that was in the mix, and then my tube, my crimp tube, and then I'm just going to come around a piece of the chain come back through my crimp tube and this wire is kind of thick so I don't know that we'll be able to go back down through any of our beads but I'll definitely try I just think that the holes are gonna be a little small for the soft flex oh look at that we were able to do it I love it when that when that happens So we'll take our crimping pliers, put that crimp in the largest valley there. Watch out that you don't crimp your glass bead because you will crack it. And then we're just gonna squish. Turn it 
turn it 90 degrees, squish again, and then squish one more time. Um, and then we'll just move everything down. And I am going to trim off the excess wire here. There we go. Move everything down. I'm going to clip this and then measure how long I want my bracelet against my wrist. So I clamped this closed so none of my beads fell off. This is the ring that I want to have be the last ring on my bracelet. Um, this is, I believe it's soldered closed. So we're just going to cut. Oh, no, it's not. So we can open this up. Close it. And then I am just going to leave this as a link right here. Okay. Um, this also makes your bracelet adjustable. Uh, I'm going to take the large clasp out of the mix. I love these big clasps. And then we are going to crimp onto the clasp. So I'll take my second crimp tube. Put Oh, you know what? I actually wanted to put a little bicone here. Just to get a cute little detail like we did on the other side. crimp tube on, come around our clasp. Okay, and then we wanna make sure we're not doing this in a straight line because that would not wear well um, on your wrist. So we're gonna feed this down through a couple beads here. All right, and then before I I crimp, I'm going to kind of fold this around in a bracelet shape, pull, making sure there aren't any gaps. And then we'll just crimp here. So we're going to squish, turn 90 degrees, squish again. Squish one more time. Um, and then we will just take this and snip. And here is our adorable bracelet. And I love that it is adjustable. Isn't this beautiful? I love her. <laughs> so cute. And I love that our um, stringy material matched these strawberries and then you can just clasp this wherever you'd like This is also great if you sell your bracelets. You can just put as much chain as you want um, and I think Do we want little red strawberry or do we want this strawberry? Hmm. Do we want a ladybug? I want a ladybug. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a little charm on here. I'm just going to cut off a loop on the back because I want it to be a charm instead of a connector. And we'll grab a jump ring. Put on our ladybug. we have a beautiful designer bracelet. I mean, I feel like this would be in any jewelry store right now because strawberries are hot, ladybugs are hot, charm bracelets are hot. You can add as many charms as you'd want to this. Um, really make it your own, but it's just such a cute little project. There we go. So that's bracelet number one. Okay, I've laid out my next two bracelets, but before we start making those, I wanted to bring your attention to the um, the strawberry Shambhala bead that was in the kit. So it is a half drilled um, bead and I didn't realize that until I went to use it. So I have these little screws. You can get these at the craft store um, and I just took some Loctite. Um, I would probably recommend using um, E6000, but I, I don't know where mine is at the moment. So um, I would fill in the hole with a little bit of glue, okay? 
and then just place in your screw. I'm gonna use my pliers to get it where I want it to be. And just leave it alone while it dries. So just set that aside, let it dry. If you want, you can try and give it a little spin. Um, if you are familiar with polymer clay, you could try drilling this to be a full bead, um, but I wanted to do something that's a little bit more accessible. Um, for those of you who don't have a drill and I'm just gonna let that sit now here is one that I've already glued it's not really going anywhere but I wouldn't put a ton of pressure on it okay so first I have this one right here I'm just gonna kind of scooch the second one back a little bit um, I am gonna use some more soft flex but I have one that's in a blue that it will match a little bit better um, and this one is the tanzanite color that they have. It's almost like a periwinkle. And this one's just gonna be completely strong. So I'm just gonna put on the beads in the order that I liked them. I love these little tiny flowers. So I'm gonna fill in with some more crystals on either side. I'm gonna take a jump ring and put it on our little pink strawberry charm here. Close that up. And then slide that onto my bracelet. Then I'm gonna take one of my crimp tubes, slide that on, take one of these little marguerite flowers, take another bicone, And then come back through my flower and down into that crimp. And this is one of my favorite ways to make a closure. I know I just recently did this with a different flower, but the fun thing is they always look different depending on what the flower looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that so It creates a closure here so pretty so pretty and then I'm just going to crimp that right there and squish and squish again then I'm gonna move everything down I'm gonna clip my wire here everything down toward my flower closure and then put on my second bead or my second crimp tube and then we are going to make a loop here for our closure that's the fun of soft flex because I could put seed beads here if I wanted to but I don't need to because I love the color of the wire and it's durable enough for me to just have it hanging out instead of covering up with beads. All right, so we're moving everything down as much as possible toward that other side and we're pulling, but I wanna make sure that my closure will slip through my loop. So I need a little bit bigger loop here. And you can just, whatever closure you're using, um, make it fit your loop or your loop fit your closure. There we go. And I'll never get tired of making bracelets like this because they're always so different, even if you're using the same technique. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then I'm just gonna take my crimping pliers, squish, 90 degrees, squish again, squish one more time. And we will snip. A great way if you don't have findings that you think will match just use the beads in your kit and that makes a cute little bracelet and we've got a strawberry hanging on it oh my gosh it's so cute
bracelet number two. So blingy, so pink. I love it so much. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. And then the last one's a little different. Um, we are going to use some jump rings and I'll connect these three pieces really quickly. Oh, these are double-sided. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to put a jump ring on the end here. And suspend our little strawberry. And then we are going to connect the rest of our beads to the bracelet. Um, I'm going to use soft flex and turquoise. And because I'm going to be using some of these turquoise beads in my um, bracelet. So I'm going to put on crystal. I'm using these tiny daisy spacers between my beads. And I'm actually gonna change out this rose gold jump ring for um, some heavy duty silver color jump rings since I'm gonna use silver, uh, a silver clasp. And I actually wanna make this Um, I want to make this adjustable, so I'm adding on several rings. There we go. We've got mixed metals on this one. And then I am gonna put on my crimp tube, come through my flower, come back through my crimp, squish, 90 degrees, squish again, squish one more time, slide several of these beads onto my wires. And then I'll put on my last crimp and we'll just grab our tail and our clasp and pull everything down toward the other side. Pull, but make sure we still got some give in the line there. And I will squish, 90 to, turn it 90 degrees, squish, and then squish one more time. And we have ourselves three bracelets. Just need to trim my wire here. There we go. So super cute. I love the just range of looks that you can get out of this entire box. We did a silver. We did one that was mostly rose gold and one that was kind of gold too but each one tells a story we've got the flowers the strawberry the uh, ladybug and our more flowers on this side um this one we've got our ladybug hanging on like a charm so stinking cute and then last but not least our little strawberry charm hanging on with our closure these colors just make my eyes pop. I'm so happy. Um, you can wear them all together or separately. Uh, three different styles. Thanks for watching. Um, check out the affiliate link below if you want to get your hands on this box. And uh, looking forward to the next time I talk to you. Have a good day. Stay tuned for Goldie. Bye-bye.
in your tummy rub? Yeah? It's your favorite thing on the planet, huh? Yeah. With your little Grinch toes. Need a haircut. Hi, cutie.